Diego right here in front. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, stellar performance. It seems like, you know, the UFC has a budding superstar on their hands. So I guess what are the emotions now that you got this big win at UFC 300? Primero de todo, felicidades por la victoria. Me parece que el UFC tiene una estrella en sus manos. ¿Qué sientes acerca de una victoria después de un UFC 102? No, pues me siento increíble. Creo que he hecho un gran trabajo. Es, es un buen trabajo con mi equipo. Mi equipo está por detrás de eso, ¿no? Y, y pues está aquí hoy con... Obtener la victoria en el UFC 300 es algo muy significativo para mi carrera, aún más de esta manera con un oponente como eso de que yo I'm feeling gratefully incredible. I think the work that I've been able to put in is amazing. The work that my team has been able to put uh, has been amazing. There's a team behind us um, and it's been doing a great job. And actually getting a win at UFC 300 um, against an opponent like Sodif, I just feel very good. And I don't know if you've seen it, but there was this video of Israel was watching your fight, and after your win, he he said to like around the camera, like this kid is special. So I guess it's one thing to have the admiration of the fans, but when you have like former champions like that, like praising your star power, what what do you think of that? No sé si te he enseñado todavía, pero hay un video de Israel a España que vio un video, vi, vi, vio obviamente están haciendo reacción y dijo qué tremendo es, es impresionante, obviamente un favorito de la ficción se vuelve loco por ti, pero qué significa también tener la admiración de gente como un, un ex campeón como Israel Adesanya. Ah, pues significa mucho, ¿no? Aparte, desde mi primera pelea, este, Adesanya pues, ha demostrado siempre un, un respeto pues, por mi trabajo, ¿no? Este, es una persona que siempre ha demostrado este, apoyo y cariño a mi trabajo. De hecho, luego trocamos un mensaje también pues, por Instagram y todo eso. Y, y tenerlo ahí pues, este, contento con mi victoria y, pues, bueno, diciendo lo que dice, ¿no? Pues es algo muy significativo para mí tener reconocimiento de un gran campeón como es él. Um, it's tremendous to actually have someone like him saying, saying things like like this about me. Um, it's someone that, since my first fight, has shown some respect. We've actually exchanged messages on social media, so it's been pretty amazing. It just it is a very significant moment in my life, and it's very significant to actually have the respect and the admiration for people like him. So um, it's a, great for my career. You dropped him twice with that same up, that right uppercut. Was that something you knew you could take advantage of, or did you just see it in the moment? Eh, lo pusiste piso dos veces ahí con el mismo golpe. O sea, eh, con la derecha. ¿Algo que habías visto ya o simplemente surgió? No, es un, es un golpe que yo gusto mucho, el golpe allí. Yo creo que es un golpe que yo utilizo bastante. Yo creo que es, es un golpe un poco utilizado por los luchadores. ¿no? Eh, el pessoal a veces tiene un poco de miedo porque fica un poco expuesto a la guarda. Pero es un golpe que yo trabajo bien, es un golpe que siempre yo estoy conectando en los treinamientos, en la lucha, en la lucha pasada también, si ustedes prestan atención, fue algo bastante parecido. Y yo sabía, yo sabía que momento que eu pudesse encostar a mão nele ali, a gente, a gente tinha bastante, bastante vantagem nisso. Um, you know, that's a, that's a strike that I like to use. Um, I retrain that a lot, that I've got, and I try to put it in, in, in fights. I think uh, a lot of fighters don't use it because it exposes you a little bit um, as you're actually uh, going for the strike. Um, but if you look back in some of my uh, previous fights, you will see that it's there. Um, so it's something that we put in our strategy, and we're really happy that it worked. What did you tell Dana when you hopped over the fence? Que foi que você falou pro Dana quando você pulou por cima ali do do octógono e falou com ele? Movzai is next in the international fight week. Give me the rematch. No translation needed. How confident are you that you can get that that fight? E qual o teu nível de confiança que você vai ter essa luta e essa oportunidade contra o Movzai? Pois eu creio que a primeira pelea habla por si sola e minhas três últimas atuações eu creio que não derra nada desse apos na para uma revanche e uma vitória sobre Movzai. I think that the first fight speaks for itself, and I think that, you know, whatever uh, the fights that came uh, after that, um, I, I think they, they say I deserve a rematch against Mozart. What did you make of his fight against Arnold Allen? Because Dana said that that was one of the more boring fights that he had seen. O que, que você achou da luta dele contra o Arnold Allen? O Dana falou que foi uma das lutas mais chatas que ele já viu na vida. <laughs> Cara, no... <laughs> Eu não quero falar muito, mas se vocês prestar atenção, depois da luta, da luta que ele teve com o Arnold Allen, me mencionou nas redes sociais, falando que o logo mais grande da minha carreira tinha sido lutar contra ele, né? E simplesmente eu respondi ele que o logo mais grande da carreira dele tem sido fazer o Dana White gostar de uma luta dele, que foi a luta comigo. Então, acho que o que eu posso falar é simplesmente isso, né? O cara da decisão, né? Eu até, eu até comentei que é o o Mr. Decision, e eu acho que é o trabalho dele falar por ele solo e o meu falar por mim solo. Um, I think it's it's actually really funny that uh, he actually went on on social media 
um, and said that uh, my greatest feat was actually to have a fight against him. And I went back on social media and told him, well, your greatest feat is make Dana White like a fight that you're involved. This is the one that I was involved. So I, I like to call him decision man. I mean, he's, I even coined a term, Mr. Decision. I think my, his work speaks, speaks for it uh, and my, for, for himself and my work speaks for myself. Hi, Diego. I'm just uh, curious if you've had a chance to see the new gloves that were announced this week or if you've heard anything about them or what you think of them. É, curiosa para saber se você chegou a ver as novas luvas. É, você teve a oportunidade de provar? O que, que você acha das luvas? Como é que é isso? É, ainda não tive a oportunidade de provar as luvas, é, mas eu vi que no contêiner da temporada passada todos, todos os lutadores usaram essas luvas. É, eu pude ver na mais de longe, ainda não tive o o prazer de colocá-las na mão para sentir, mas o eu conversei com alguns lutadores que tiveram no contêiner, perguntei deles como eles sentiram e sentiram muito bem a luva, então eu pretendo pronto ter um par de luva dessas para eu provar e ver como se sente. I haven't had the pleasure of actually uh, trying them out, but I, 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 I've spoken to, uh, I've seen them, so I've felt them, so um, I've spoken to um, to fighters that have tried it, they really liked it. I obviously found out that uh, all season seven contender series that were used. Uh, so can't wait to actually have uh, a pair to try it out. And Diego, use them. Diego, acá, acá atrás. Uh, una pregunta. Eres de Brasil, pero peleas fuera de Puebla, México. Por qué? Y dos. Crees que tienes el apoyo de los dos países de México y de Brasil? Uh, Diego, you are a guy that's out of Brazil but fights out of Pueblo, Mexico. Do you feel that you have the support of both Brazilians and Mexicans? Definitivamente. I creo que tengo el apoyo de todas de las dos aficiones, tanto de Brasil como de México. Después de mi primera pelea, gané bastantes seguidores en en Brasil también porque mi carrera basicamente despegó cuando yo llegué a México. No, yo llegué a México en 2015. Ya son casi 10 años viviendo en México. O sea, México ha sido mi casa. Aí, aí entreino, aí vivo, aí hago todos mis campamentos, mi equipo es formada por puros mexicanos también, mi coach es mexicano, entonces definitivamente yo tengo el apoyo y el cariño de toda la gente de México, así como he ganado el cariño y el respeto de todos los brasileños. Um, I do think I, re I represent both countries because I mean, after my first fight, um, I, I, got, I gained a lot of followers and you know got a love from Brazil. I mean, if you think about it, my my career took off uh, in Mexico. So basically, ever since I moved there for 2015, so basically it's about 10 years. And you know, I live in Mexico. I train in Mexico. Uh, my, my my team is Mexican. My I, I only train with Mexicans. That's where I live, and I, I that's that's my home, and that's where I represent. But I do feel that I have beloved for both countries. Diego, aquí atrás, ¿cómo estás? Eh, Diego, has estado no más de dos minutos en cada pelea, en las últimas tres. Estás entero. Eh, ¿Cuál es el próximo paso? ¿Quieres pelear en la Interés de la Five Week? ¿Quieres pelear en el evento de la Independencia de México? ¿Quieres pelear en Brasil? ¿Qué quieres? Uh, Diego, it's, uh, again, you didn't go past two minutes on your fight. You are unscathed. So, what's next? Do you want to wait? Do you want to fight International Five Week? Do you want to fight in a Mexican Independence Day weekend? Do you want to fight in Brazil? What do you want? Yo quiero pelear en todos los eventos posibles. Tú me conoces muy bien, has seguido mi carrera en México y, y sabes que pues, yo soy un peleador que siempre busca finalizar mis peleas, siempre voy para adelante a buscar las peleas, este, finalizar lo más rápido posible, justamente para eso, para pedir una oportunidad de pelear más pronto posible. ¿no? Entonces, si UFC quiere, yo de hecho le dije a, a Dana que pues, a mí me gustaría pelear en la International Fight Week, después de ahí pelear en la esfera. Y ya de ahí pues ve lo que sigue, ¿no? A mí me gusta siempre pelear en los mejores eventos. Yo creo que con el lugar que tengo hoy en el FC 300 y con la victoria que obtuve, yo creo que pues tengo el secreto pues para pedir a pelear en esos grandes eventos. I want to fight as much as possible. You know this. You've been following my career since the beginning, so you're from, from all the way from Mexico. Um, so you know that I, I just wanted to, to be in the, in the, in the best fight. So I, I want, I'm always training, always ready. So I told Dana when I uh, hopped over, and I told him, like, I want to fight our national fight week. And yes, I want to fight in the sphere. I want to fight as much as possible. Um, I think that um, the, the fights that I've had with my body work, everything that I've done is giving me the opportunity. And here I am, just, uh, it is fought on, on 300, so I'll always be ready to fight. La última, la última parte de mi, de mi lado. Eh, Alexa Grasso decía que mejoró mucho su juego de piso con, contigo en el campamento. ¿Qué has mejorado tú con los compañeros que tienes? Uh, his last question. Alexa Grasso mentioned that she improved mightily um, on the ground because of you. What have you improved because of them? 
Pues justamente eso, ¿no? Yo he mencionado muchas veces, ¿no? Y no lo voy a cansar de mencionarlo. Tengo el mejor coche de strike, que es Francisco Curazo, desde cuando llegué a trabajar con él. Este ha sido como nuestro acuerdo, ¿no? Ayúdanos con el piso, que nosotros te ayudamos con el strike. Yo creo que en mis dos peleas pasadas, pues he podido demostrar la evolución de mi strike, ¿no? Entonces, eso ha sido el intercambio que hemos tenido con ellos, así como ustedes han visto la evolución de Alexa, Alexa en el piso. Um, and so uh, that's it. I mean, that's what you saw. So uh, I, I, I've said this before, and I'm not going to ever get tired of saying this. I have the best striking coach in the sport that's Francisco Grasso, and this is the kind of the deal that we had. Listen, we're going to get you get us better in the, on the ground and get me better on striking. So you have seen, I think, from my last fights, the evolution of my striking, and I think um, that's what we're always going to be doing with it. That's the exchange that we have. Um, that's the trade off that we have in our training. Hey, Diego, just over here, um, we don't know who's going to be fighting for the featherweight title next against Ilya Taporia. Just as someone who's in the division, who do you think should be fighting Ilya Taporia next for the title? Y Diego, no sabemos exactamente quién va a pelear contra Ilya Taporia por los plumas. O sea, eh, en tu opinión, ¿quién debería estar peleando por los plumas? Pues es una... es una, este, un misterio. Nadie sabe lo que, que va a pasar ahorita con la división, ¿no? Pero yo, yo he escuchado que pues, se supone que Movistar es el, el siguiente para la para la línea para pelear por el título, ¿no? Pero yo creo que me merezco una revancha como Vizá y pues teniendo la revancha con él, yo sé que le puedo ganar y de ahí pues este, tomar el lugar de él y pues de una oportunidad por el título. Um, uh, yeah, it's a mystery. We all know exactly who's fighting for that. Um, I, I've heard um, that Mozart will be next uh, to fight for the title and I think if I am able to have a, a chance at a rematch with Mozart, I can beat him and I can take his place in line and then me, I would be the one fighting for the title. And if it is Mosar, um, Brian Ortega is another big name in the division, one of the best ground specialists in the division like yourself. How exciting would a fight between the two of you be just to see who has the better ground game? Y si por ejemplo le dan la oportunidad a Mosar de pelear contra ella por el título, o ahí está un tipo que es Brian Ortega, que es un especialista, uno de las fuerzas de una persona que está un maestro en el piso, lo cuán, lo, lo cuán emocionante sería una pelea entre ustedes dos. No, pues yo creo que sería una pelea también ideal, ¿no? Pues por el estilo de Brian Ortega, es un peleador también que va para adelante, tiene buen boxeo, tiene un jiu-jitsu excelente también, y es un juego que casa perfecto con el mío, ¿no? Si Movistar es el siguiente, me encanta la pelea con Ortega también. Ah, uh -huh. that fight would be, it'd be very exciting. I mean, we're talking about a guy that, in Ortega that is always going uh, forward, a, a guy that, that's, uh, that's uh, really good on the ground, that's, that's got striking as well, so I think it would be great. Listen, if Mozart gets a shot, it'll be a great uh, a fight and a great opportunity to fight um, Ortega. Diego, lleva menos un año en la UFC. ¿Tú no te escuché? Es que dos, dos. Lleva menos un año en la UFC. Tienes dos nocaos en el primer asalto, una sumisión en el primer asalto. Tienes tres bonos en la noche, a lo mejor tienes el cuarto. Peleaste en el Garden, ahora peleas en la UFC 300. Cuando tú reflejas eso a alguien que una vez le dijeron, tú no eres material de UFC, ¿qué significa para ti todo esto que has logrado en menos de un año? Uh, digo, es this year in the UFC. I mean, four fights in the UFC, three fights. You've had submissions, you've had knockouts, you've fought. Uh, we don't know if you got the you're getting the bonus tonight. You have fought here. You have fought at uh, um, Madison Square Garden. Uh, people have said to you, maybe not UFC worthy. What do you what do you have to say to these people? What do you say after this year? Pues, no tengo nada que decir, hermano. Mira dónde estoy. No. Simplemente con mi trabajo, yo creo que habla por sí solo, no. Ese no necesito estar contestando a nadie que desacreditó de mi trabajo. Simplemente seguir trabajando, logrando mis objetivos, logrando mis sueños. Y, y pues mira, mira dónde estamos, hermano. Peleando en la mayor cartelera en la historia del UFC hasta ahora. Este es UFC 300. Y como bien menciona, en menos de un año de estando en UFC, ¿no? Este, cuando dijeron que mi carrera no iba a llegar muy lejos, mira, mira mi ahora. Um, listen, I have nothing to say. What can I say to these people? I mean, all I have to do is just keep on being myself, keep on working, keep on, you know, continue to, to uh, dream and make dreams reality and, and do my work and get the win. Uh, I mean, think about all this stuff um, that I've been through for all those people that have said um, the things that they said that I wasn't worthy to be in the UFC, that I wasn't going to make it here. Listen, brother, look at us now. Look at where we are. Diego, Valmir, Canal Mais MMA Brasil. É, o garoto simples que saiu lá de Manaus e hoje brilhou no maior card da história, o UFC 300, é, passou um filme na cabeça na hora da vitória, deu tempo daqueles milésimos de segundo de passar aquele, aquele filme, a trajetória, assim, o que, que você pensou? Tô aqui, venci no UFC 300. Conta pra gente essa emoção. Um, a simple guy, a guy who, from humble beginnings, all the way from Manaus, has 
gone the way of Mexico and actually fought here in UFC 300 to get a great win. After the win, did that movie go through your head, thinking of everything that I've been through, all, this, all the, the challenges and everything that I've been through to be where I are? Tell us what went through your mind after you got the win. Cara, depois quando eu vi que o juiz ali interrompeu a luta, definitivamente passou um filme na minha cabeça. Porque eu saí da minha casa e, e eu falei para minha mãe e para meu pai que só ia voltar quando eu pudesse alcançar meus objetivos, meus sonhos, né? Então hoje estar tá aqui dentro do sendo parte da história do UFC, do UFC 300, conseguindo uma vitória ainda mais dessa maneira, é é algo que <risos> que me deixa muito feliz, cara, muito feliz por poder ter meu pai, minha mãe, meus irmãos, meus sobrinhos todos felizes com esse momento. E principalmente uma coisa, você mencionou que de onde eu sou, de Manaus, e algo que que virou tradição no meu bairro, no bairro onde eu moro, no mutirão. Cada luta minha, os caras fecham a rua, botam um telão, todo o bairro vai para lá assistir a luta e, e cara, imagina, você conseguiu uma vitória, abrir o seu celular e a primeira coisa que você tem é ver todo todos os seus amigos de infância, todo toda a sua família, todo o pessoal, todos os seus vizinhos que viram você crescer aí na rua gritando, torcendo e chorando de felicidade por uma vitória sua, é algo incrível para mim. Um, it, it's amazing. Uh, it, it's amazing because look at where I'm from and what I did when I left home a long time ago. I looked at my family, I looked at my mother, I looked at all of them, I said, I'm going to pursue a dream and I'm only coming back when I accomplish that dream, when I make that dream a reality and I'm gonna to see you with those dreams accomplished. And where I am from, because you mentioned something interesting, which is that, you know, I'm being from Manaus, there's a tradition now in Muchirão, where I'm from, in the, in the in the area there. Whenever there's a fight of mine, we, uh, They, everyone goes out to the streets, they put out a screen and everybody watches my fights together. So think about this, after a fight like this, after a fight in UFC 300, after a victory, of course that went through my mind because there's a tradition now. Um, they, I, the first thing I picked up the cell phone and they were there, I saw a video of everybody out there. So everybody just cheering on, just uh, you know, giving me all the support in the world. So it's just an amazing feeling. Diego over here. Uh, Diego, before the fight, I saw that you got a uh, custom chain made. You did have a great finish. If you're one of the guys who gets 300k, are you going to get another one? Diego, uma pergunta a você. Essa corrente aí é customizada, realmente. A gente viu durante a semana da luta. Você veio com a com a com com, com a joia boa. É, ganhando 300 pau, vai 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 fazer alguma coisa também? Vai ser uma outra? Não, acho que que com essa agora eu tô feliz, tô, tô bem, é algo que sempre me ha gostado, mas algo assim sencillo, simples, acho que eu gosto bastante, essas são as iniciais do meu nome. É, e se eu ganho o bônus, cara, vai ser a mesma coisa que eu tenho feito sempre, ajudar minha família, sempre continuar dando uma, uma vida melhor para eles, é uma condição, é, ajudar meus amigos, melhorar minha academia, é, é isso, cara, só vou investir em mim mesmo para para poder ter desempenhos como esse que você virou hoje à noite. Um, no, I don't think I'm gonna get on the train. I really like something. I like this one. I like something simple. I mean, these are my initials. I mean, initials can't get be any better than that. But you know, if I get the 300k, I'm gonna continue to do what I do, which is help my family. You know, help friends in need. Continue to improve the gym and continue to invest in myself to continue to have and have even more uh, performances like this tonight. Thank you, guys.